would think that you would spread like mustard to my spot. Trying to take all like and the lies. We in this thing is the melon and all. Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous, darling, baby. I'm so stuffed and congested. I don't even know where I'm at. This weather has been, oh, playing games with me. Playing games with my little immune system. Okay, go ahead and thumbs up this video. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to follow me on my social media, at Miss TP90. And uh, yeah, Miss P has a new... <coughs> Help me, Jesus. Y'all, I'm form a prayer circle around my um, my throat. Just put your hands out for my view system. But uh, Miss P has another video. Vlog number 16 is out. I need y'all to check it out. I'll put the link down below. It's entitled, Are You Afraid of the Dark? It's a cute one. I need y'all to check that out. I've been putting my vlogs out, so I need y'all to check it out. Thank you guys so much for all the love, all the support. I figured I would uh, do a little baby, baby, because I'm sounding a little bigger, bigger. Give me one more chance. We're going to go ahead and get into this love and hip-hop review. Lord help me. First of all, for the rest of this review, at any time I need the thoughts of somebody, I am going to talk just like Ruben did to everybody on this episode. I'm going to tell you guys, you need to go ahead and open up another tab. Go ahead and do it. And I need you to look at my new vlog number 16. I need you to do it right now. Do it right now like I say so. Because I say so. And if you do not, we're done. It's over. Have a good night. I was done with Ruben. Let's, let's backtrack. Backtrack. So we sitting there at uh, NIE says a uh, little uh, signing or whatnot, and here comes Ruben, and it's like a Ruben Rich Slobbers NIE in the middle standoff, and Jonathan is over there like, oh my god. I felt like Jonathan the whole time, like with his expression. Jonathan is like my spirit animal in the expressions arena. Here comes Ruben. He's like, so where's Navarro? Like, you you work for Navarro? And Rick Slobbers is like, hold up, homie. No, I don't work for him. Like, I work at Chuck E. Cheese. But he told me to come over here and manage everything. And that's my man. And I is like, uh, and he's like, and I is. Why you so nervous, and I is? Why you looking down at the floor, and I is? What's wrong with you, and I is? Child, this whole time I was looking like Jonathan. I was like, Jesus, take the will. Actually, no, Jesus. Get off of that let this roll and i just was like yeah ruben and my husband you know what i'm actually not gonna say i sounded like baby baby i sounded like anais all day today with my patience good morning how you doing come in and have a seat but either way she tells our rich that yes this is my husband and rich was like you know what i think that's cool that you came through to support her even though y'all know you know you're going through a divorce or a separation or what have you ruben was like screw Say what? How you know about that? Like, how you know, you know, we're going through problems or whatever? And Rich was like, you know what? We've been talking about it. I mean, like, we've been talking about it. I mean, in between the humps and the bump, we've been talking. Ruben said, hold on, hold on. You working with her or you doing something else? I was like, yes, Ruben. Let the tables turn, put pop. You having an affair on me, Anais? What you doing, Anais? I need you to look off of the floor, Anais, and look at me in my eyes. And I, I even looked up at Ruben. I said, oh, shit, what? Press pause. I need some tissue. Child doing all these impressions got a young thug nose runner. Give it uh, intermission. And I used to like, I mean, with Rich Slava, we been dead. He said, hold up. You mean to tell me you've been dead in another manner? We have a family on our east? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Here comes Rich. Get ready to talk. And Ruben was like, hold up. When I finished talking to her, I would talk to you. Do you understand me? I was like, oh. Rich was like, so I'm on your time. I was like, oh, shit. Ruben was like, what do you want to do? Rich was like, we can do whatever. I said, oh, shoot. Ruben said, underlay, underlay. Swipe no swiping. I mean, the table almost turned over. I said, oh, my God. Somebody get Ruben. Here come Rich Slobbers. And Anna used to just sitting there like, oh, my goodness. While all of this is going on. I said, you know what this is a mess Ruben the whole time who do you think you are you are a piece of shit do you understand me he took the ring off and flung it honey Jonathan was looking at Anais like girl you in trouble girl then the camera goes over to Anais and Rich Slobber so that they can talk Jonathan comes over he was like hold up hold up hold up girl I don't want you to lose your marriage let me tell you what had happened with Rich when you weren't looking and talking to me girl he was getting the waitress's number and Rich was like nah no I'm wet Rich was like where is the number where is it I don't even have my phone Jonathan I can't even do like he did because I would my lung would literally come out of my throat he was like he's a liar I don't know how Jonathan extended his vocal box that long to say he's a liar that is talent he goes and I he's oh my god I should have listened to my best friend Selena like I should have been listening and oh my god Rich I don't want to do this and Rich is looking the whole time like hold up how did this turn back on me and then she wants to go outside to find Ruben I'm sitting here looking at Anais like ma'am Ma'am, so you've been gal 
gallivant. Yes, I said gallivant this whole time with pretty Ricky over here. And yet, you didn't know that Ruben would go pop up because he know your whereabouts. You didn't know this? But then when he goes ahead and confronts you, you want to act like, oh, we ain't been doing nothing. And Ais, I'm going to call a foul on you, not the other two players. You, my dear. The kitchen got hot. Your edges weren't ready, honey. You are ready. So she starts running outside to find Ruben because she know now Rich Slobbers ain't shit. Let me talk to you, babe. I'm like, oh, he babe now. Oh, okay. Okay. What do you want, Anais? Let me tell you something, Anais. It's been 14 years of marriage, but I was like, wait, hold up. Marriage? Okay. I don't want to see you. The next time I want to see you, I was... <laughs> the next time I want to see you is when we talk about the kids, okay? Because we are no longer... This is no longer... I cannot do this no more, Anais. Have a good night. You know what? For the rest of my life, whenever I'm done with anything, I'm going to say, you know what? Have a good night. And then I'm going to be done. I'm going to say it just like that, too. Because I felt that in Ruben's spirit. I felt that. Because even Anais was like, oh, my God. I kind of felt like she was giving me Taraji from Baby Boy. He don't love me no more. Because here came Jonathan. Jonathan rocked a little bit. Everybody need a Jonathan. Somebody you can be messy with. But then when the shat hit the fan, they'll come over and rock you and rub your head and cry with you. Quay is meeting up with Bianca to bowl. Bianca wants to fix him up with a little cayenne. I actually like cayenne pepper. I like her. I actually like Jacque. So I hope that this works out. I really feel in my spirit that something's going to happen with this as well. And I hate that. Strict. So, oh my God, I can't believe that came out. Safari comes through in the full red fur ensemble to meet up with Jacque and Snoop. We're just going to fast forward to when Creeper Carl comes through. I'll talk about, you know what, I'm getting ready to train for my fight or whatever, and I got this new Instagram. You know, it's strictly for promotion. And even Snoop, all of them looking like, Arr. And child, this is the kicker. I thought, okay, cool, it's for the boxing. No, Lil Mo don't know. She don't know shit. I said, you don't know now? Uh-uh. I called foul on call. A lot has happened and Rich just does not know what to think. So he needs to call a nice little creep squad emergency gathering with the president himself, Peter Guns. You know what? It's been so refreshing not dealing with Peter's bullshit. Here comes Navarro. Navarro don't know Peter so they do all the niceties. And then after that, uh, Rich ends up telling him what had happened was with Anais and Ricky Ricardo. I was so done when they said that Anais is the female Peter Guns. I was done. I have to kind of clap it up and snap it for Peter because Peter was like, dude, the only reason why you're surprised is because this is a chick and she does the same thing that we do all the time. I was like, ding, da, ding, ding, dong. The minute a female does what a man does, oh my God, they can't believe it. I can't believe she would do I'm heartbroken. Oh, child, by. Even Rich Slobbers had to say, you know what? That's the truth. But child, I ain't never done nothing like that. I don't mess with married women. Peter, you're the president. You do that type of stuff. Child, I don't, uh-uh, it's cheaper to keep her, honey. Dream Doll is in the studio. I like grits and eggs. I like grilled cheese. It's too much dairy. I like 2% though. It was just like, what? Oh my God, okay. But either way, she invites Strict Safari to come through so that they can talk it out because it's been too much and he ain't gonna disrespect her no more. So he comes in, he's just as calm as a little cucumber. I love Safari's disposition. I don't know what's under the disposition when he's mad, but I just love how calm, cool, and collected he was because he was looking at her the whole time like, girl, get your life together. Ultimately, she's mad about the whole Mariah Lynn situation. Uh, I can do whatever the hell I want. She was really looking like, oh, no, you didn't. You know what? You tight. You not a real man. I was like, okay, yeah, that's when it was over. It was like, pretty much, God bless you, sweetie. It's okay. I'm not leaving. You can go ahead. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. Have a good one. And I'm so glad that Safari didn't get out of his character and go out of pocket because that is the clear thing that people do when they're mad and when they're upset is be like, bitch, and you, and you, fuck you. You, you know, you don't have to do all that sometimes. All of that is not necessary. Sometimes being quiet is all you need to do because the other person looks like a damn fool. Jaque and Cayenne are going out on a little date situation. It was cute. She pulled that comb out of that suit. I said, yes, honey, exactly. That's the same thing I would have done. She had some questions for Jaque. Pretty much, um, Sophia the body. Y'all still together? He was like, nah, we not rocking together. She got a little closer. She was like, okay, I want to go slow. I got a 10 week old. I think she said he was 10 months, but either way, I was like, oh, okay. And uh, she want to go slow and she want to see where it goes. I was like, oh, okay. 
<laughs> Another intermission, please. They cute or whatever. Go to Navarro's office. I swear, Navarro always looks like his hands are in some shit. He always looks nervous. He always looks like he did something wrong. Ruben comes to him and he's like, you know what, Navarro? I pay you, okay? I pay you to do her career. He's talking in circles. Pretty much, Ruben is mad that he's been paying Navarro. And he feels as though Navarro stabbed him in the back, honey, because Rich Slavis is his homeboy. This relationship is done. I'm no longer paying you. Navarro was like, oh, the hell up, what? Here comes Anais. Navarro invited Anais over and she like, how y'all doing? Ruben, please sit down, Ruben. Please, I want to apologize. Apologize for what, Anais? We have had a marriage man for 40 years, Anais. Who paid for all of this? Then that's when Anais was like, hold the hell up. Yes, you might have invested in my career, but my talent, that's all me. You disrespecting me, Ruben. You get out of my house. I'm getting a divorce on you. I was like, all right. And he goes on out that door. Uh, Anais, she was basically done because she was like, hold up. You gonna tell me you made me? You paid for this? Boy, back. it. Safari and Juju, uh, go out on their nice little date. No, it's not a date. It's like a friendship outing. I'm so glad that, um, he saw Sophia the body out of the corner of his eye and went over and talked, um, <laughs> Because I was like, okay, where is this little outing going? Y'all not going to dance. Y'all not going to do nothing. Okay, go talk to Sophia the body. He goes to talk to her. And you know what? It was nice that they could talk. They used to date. They're being very civil, very grown, very mature. And he's like, you know what happened to you and Jack Way? And she was like, you know what? I was actually in love with that little boy. And he was like, oh, my God. You know what? I'm going to Carl's little training situation. I know Jacque is going to be there. Do you want to come through? This way y'all can link back up. She was like, you know what? That'll be cute. Safari had good intentions, I hope. But child, um, Kaya ain't going to be there. I felt that in my spirit all the way together. And I even looked at Sophie in the body like, child, you in trouble, girl. And I, she goes to see Rich because uh, Ruben done kicked her ass out and she needs somewhere to stay. Rich is looking like, how you doing? They start arguing. Through the whole argument, I heard, went over there looking for a place to stay. You found out that he did get the girl's number. You was mad about that because you figured out that he has not changed his ways. Yet, Rich is sitting over here like, I was never going to be husband number two. We were just having fun. Now that you're kicked out of your house, what do you expect me to do? I thought you was going to be here to support me and come for me absolutely not sweetheart have a great day ultimately Anais what were you expecting ma'am what were you expecting you better have your own in these days and times looking for your side piece to pick up where the husband left off girl you better have several seats and several good days have a good one it's training session time you know Lil Mo is there to support her mans Remy Ma and her boo Papoos come through to support Snoop is there and everybody starts trickling in but child before the training even been good Remy was like I'm so glad that we could come through a support we saw on Carl's Instagram. Mo was like, doo, 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 doo. his Instagram, he doesn't have one of those. She even pulled out her phone, looked at her other account with the other one's account that's connected to one of her kids' accounts and was like, he does not have an Instagram. Ruby was like, yes, he does. It's right here. And she was like, oh my God, no wonder I didn't see that. He blocked me. I said, uh-oh. Ruby was like, please do not make a little ass out of yourself. Please do not do that. Please, not here. And Mo was like, I passed a little ass. I'm making a whole big old ass out of myself tonight. And she walks around the whole freaking boxing ring the whole situation she walks around asking him questions and he got the nerve to walk his little ass in front of her up and down all around town not even answering her questions now granted i would not have asked them right there in front of everybody but child you don't have enough courtesy for your wife to sit there and say look yes i get it i'm sorry uh let me finish this and we can talk about this later i'm so sorry luke was like look not right now dog not right now I'll throw you wig off man Lil Mo goes on outside she get in the car she was like I'm just going anywhere I'm gonna go to Alaska tonight Snoop was like chill out man go home and take a bath or something I'm like really baths do help though Mo was like I'm leaving don't tell him where I'm at Snoop was like look I ain't got nothing to do with that I ain't doing nothing let's think about this how social media has killed so many relationships so many with so many like buttons and comments and it goes down in the DM it's a damn shame how people live and breathe and thrive on social media granted i have social media i love posting and interacting with people but at the same time when it comes down to relationships and things like that you have to have courtesy for your significant other on social media like you don't need to be talking to other people entertaining other people all in people's dms and can i see you sending heart emojis uh-uh 
a mess. Here comes Sophia the body. She's there with um, Safari. Everything's getting started. And he's like, oh my God, here comes Jacquay. Jacquay turns around and boom, there's Cayenne. I said, oh, snaps. And they showed a little snippet of next weekend. Cayenne is a pepper honey. She wasn't playing. Okay, I'm ready for it. Down below in the comment section, I would love to know, what did you think about this episode of Love and Hip Hop? Bringing back the shout outs next week. I'll be feeling a lot better. Child, it's time for me to blow my nose again. Honey, I'm, I'm barely hanging off. Back, I lied. Um, I am going to do the shout outs. Why? Because you took time enough out of your schedule to post the comments. So I'm going to do a couple of shout outs. Thank y'all so much for commenting. Get your comment in down below because I'll do some more shout outs next week. Oh, Lord, my nose. Fix it, Jesus. Shout out to Rose Darlene Noel. She said, Happy New Year, Miss P. Thank you so much. Happy New Year to you all as well. And I hope all of you have had a wonderful start to your new year. I have. Sickness and all. Naya Wiggins says, Can you please do Love & Hip Hop Miami? You know what? I keep missing it. I'm not committing to doing Love & Hip Hop Miami. Um, I haven't even watched it fully just yet, but I might do like a wrap up or something halfway through the season. I don't know. Just um, stay tuned for that. I don't, I don't know. But as for right now, no. Nah. Shout out to a -Hall. 98 i'm so glad that you enjoy these reviews and they get you through your work day i'm happy for that thank you so much i'm glad that i can make you all laugh mvp tmp said love the hair thank you big old shout out to alicia rice thank you so much i'm glad you enjoy the reviews thank you thank you thank you shout out to janae brewer my libra sister girl yeah, yes girl we, we here big old shout out to Rosandra powers she said i do the best and i use impressions i'm glad you like it baby <laughs> I had so many more comments, but thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, get your comment in down below. You never know. I just might shout you out on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.